Welcome back to another Untrained video. Today I went solo on a Germany survival server and in a very short time we're going to get fully looted with trading gear, insanely looted weapons and a very defended base. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also subscribe to not miss any future videos. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize please join my discord which will be in the description below. Also there's a huge giveaway happening in my discord right now where everyone can win a free skin ranging from rares to mythicals. I also have just released the LDG network with 3 servers currently out ranging from Polaris, Erd and Elve. If you wanna play there, I will have the network discord in the description below. Today we're going through another one, which is a frosty black hockey mask. If you wanna win this mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. And if you're a channel member, you also have a higher chance of winning. Before we dive into the video, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor. Are you guys trying to start your own Unturned Network, whether it's for survival, roleplay, or simply to create a private server for you and your friends? Then make sure to check out Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting makes setting up your server quite easily. They have very good performance servers, and they are a very user-friendly interface that is super easy to learn. When I first started into server hosting my own network, I literally had no idea how to do anything. But with Pine Hosting's navigation, I learned it quite quickly. With several locations scattered across the globe, the pricing was also very cheap. They also have a variety of games where you can buy servers including Rust, Ark and Minecraft. A standout feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. I already have a server with another provider, no worries, they'll provide personalized assistance to help you migrate your server. If you're ready to start your own unturned servers, don't miss the link in the description below. And make sure to use the code LDG for an incredible 30% discount. And let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we are in Germany, we're gonna go completely solo today, I have not played Germany in a while actually, but today I do have some goals, first things first, we actually spawned at a location that I want to be in, yeah let's leave the group so we're gonna be all alone, but basically yeah, there's a lot of people on already and it's quite early in the morning so later on probably even more will we'll hop on, but we're going to, I do have a plan, I do want to build a base next to the dam. Over there is a very underrated location. Not a lot of people actually go there. Mega zombies do spawn there. It's a great place for a horde beacon. And it's close to a farm as well. So we'll just go there, try to get ourselves a chainsaw, some clothes for a bed. And then afterwards, we'll head over to the dam and just keep looting it. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy solo videos, then in my opinion, I think solo videos are the most entertaining to us. Just, just let me know. Have a good time. Uh, we're gonna loot the farm first things first. Let's hope we get a chainsaw first try. Right, an axe or something something to chop down trees with man now server is a bit high times load this is probably the most populated uh, germany server all the time man would have loved it was was two times load or even just normal load but it's all right there we go we got ourselves a schofield actually that's really good i'm gonna roll around with the schofield schofield is a very underrated weapon so pretty good all right so all the clothes i'm gonna salvage these balls we don't need them i'm gonna have to get metal and cloth for a bed there we go, we already got ourselves a bed for our base, huge. Alright, so I did loot the farm, no chainsaw, no axe, but got myself some more extra mags, a lot of metal. So we're just gonna start going to the base location that I wanna build, and basically I'm just gonna have to use this pitchfork to chop down trees, man. It's gonna take a while, but hopefully we won't die in the process. Alright, so I found the base location right behind this rock. For now, I'll just place one floor, but I do think we're gonna do it much larger. Just somewhere for me to actually place items. Now I'm gonna go chop down more trees. I can just use metal for now, actually. Because I do want to have myself a full metal base at some point. Pillars and everything. I can't even place it there. It's underground, man. Alright, well, let's just get to chopping. Alright, so we're back, got myself quite a ton of wood, gonna make myself another pillar, the base is a mess right now, half wood, half metal, the pillars is with metal, the walls are with wood, it's literally a disaster, but later on, as I said earlier, I'm going to make the base full metal, I even try to actually get it to brick, but right now what's important is that I actually have a base, that, that's literally it, and for now we're just gonna have a one by one, there we go, we got a roof, we're gonna make ourselves a door, there we go, perfect, replace that, and base is now sealed. So I did loot the dam a little bit, got myself one peacemaker and an empire, I put the empire in vault, so it's always safe. Now I do have a plan on how to actually get loot on the server. Since the server has a vault, what I do is I suicide. I suicide and wherever I land, I will just take the gun out and loot the areas around. That way if I do find people that are there, I could try to kill them. It's actually a pretty good idea, but we're getting a bad spawn right now. Just have to drown myself, because we can land close to because we can spawn close to the berlin and over there there's always a lot of people we can also spawn next to osti campground which is a military location and there's always a lot of people there too and that way we'll actually get some easy loot and there's a lot of people actually oh, i actually got spotted he's with a nitrate i'm pretty sure he has a scope 
And I'm here with a Peacemaker, so I am probably going to die. I'm actually gonna back up. I'm gonna try to bait him for him to push me. And then I'll wait on top of this hill, hide somewhere, and just try to kill him. I don't think he's... I think he's actually pushing me. If we get this nitrate there, that would be huge, man. That's really, really, really good. He's right there. Oh, what? He saw me? Okay. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> There goes my peacemaker. But yeah, that's the plan. I suicide. I just try to go to where PvP is. Obviously, that time didn't really go well. We, we died. Alright, so there's actually a mega zombie here. I'm gonna take the empire out. Hopefully, I have enough with the one mag, man. He may drop some really good loot. I, I'm not gonna have enough. Yeah, we could just try to melee him now. Or just go with this whole field. Come on, man. Give me the loot. Yep, he's dead. Uh, okay, I already see. Detonator, bro. That's huge. I'm actually gonna vault this ASAP. Yeah, there we go. That's all vaulted. Oh my god. That's huge. We still gotta get ourselves literally everything else to make charges, but it's very nice that we got this this early, man. Yeah, billion attachments. Strange finder that'll go into a sentry. Grenade. Oh, we got an AUG. Oh, finally. Alright, so now we can start going to higher tier PvP areas. Military, aerospace perhaps. Berlin. But really happy with this. So let's jump down, try to get a blowtorch or a generator from here. Obviously for sentries to work, we need a generator and we need the god scan and all that kind of junk. There's always a few construction zombies here, but yeah, my guy dropped a saw. Housing planner, I'll actually take that. Faster salvaging, but yeah, no blowtorch, no god scan and no generator. I made myself our first wardrobe, so let's just put all of the good stuff in there. Literally just full of attachments, that's crazy. But attachments are literally my best friend. When I'm solo. They could be so helpful, it's crazy. I have everything in Vault right now, so we still gotta make some more storage. Because just the one wardrobe, it's not gonna be enough, man. I'm actually gonna put some attachments on the Empire. Save a little bit of space as well. There we go. Let's put that muzzle back in there. Obviously, I'm gonna roam around with the AUG for now. Hopefully, I don't die with it. I would actually be very upset if I die with the AUG. Oh, a chainsaw. Finally. Fire inside myself some more trees. First things first, made a campfire so when it's dark, we could actually have a little bit of light. But the rest of the wood, I'm actually going to just make it all into wardrobes. We do need wardrobes right now. Probably gonna make the base two floor later on, actually. Do an extension at the side. Do it with stairs or with a hole or something. I placed that wardrobe so bad. It's crazy how bad I placed it. But yeah, all of these, I'll make them into wardrobes. Oh, I hear shots, Viper. Yeah, I came all the way over to Berlin, Og. I'm completely naked though, but if I do manage to kill people, then that'll be huge. Oh, he's right. There's two good dudes there, actually. One's at the top, one jumped off. Let's just kill this guy. He's dead. Other dude had a scaler. He's right over there. Oh my god, I missed. Bro, die. They're both dead. All right, let's go. Huge. He had a blowtorch. Oh my god, no, there's another dude. Bro, there's no way. There are three, oh man. Ah, uh, I lost an AUG, bro. And I ran out of ammo. Those guys were geared too, he had a scaler and everything. And a blowtorch, that's, what, that's really why I came here, for a blowtorch, man. Well, we spawned here, but we have no gun. So we're probably just gonna die again. Wait, what? That dude didn't even take the loot. He just died to a- I think he died to a zombie, bro. Yeah, we got the scaler. Oh, this is huge. Well, I did lose the AUG, sadly, but I did get that duo's loot that I killed. I did get the blowtorch too, I did manage to vault it. The only thing I lost was the AUG. Not too raw, scaler, blunt force, Schofield. Obviously the AUG is a huge setback, but we live close to melee, so we just have to kill a few zombies. Just farm there a little bit and we get, get, we'll get guns. Alright, so base, I upgraded a little bit. We're doing what I said earlier and making it into two floors. Probably just gonna do this area here, literally a wall of wardrobes. Let's put the guns in here. But it'll just be a two by one, two floors. And I don't really want to have a large base because we're gonna get raided no matter what we build on the server. Just for me to have enough space for my for the loot that I will get and yeah, basically that's it. Bro, there's loot on the floor. Somebody may have been here. Just roaming around with blunt force. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he didn't have a gun. He had an Avenger, actually. 
but it looks like this dude just had a bunch of food. Yeah, he was just picking up scraps, man. Nothing good. He had a toonie. Insane load. All right, so I'm over at military base. Seems like there's actually nobody here, which is a miracle. So I'm just gonna farm it as quickly as possible. Try to get some guns. I think um, if we get some high tier guns, that'll actually be really good. I did find myself some bases around, which we could raid later on. I think it'll be some good raids. Get ourselves another empire huge. But I'm just picking up as much guns as possible, man. All right, back in base. Pretty good military run. Got myself some empires. An AUG too, which is pretty good. Got ourselves a lot of ammo as well. Got an empty vault as well. Let's check if there's a mega zombie. Or if somebody's there. Can't really see if there's mega zombies, but you can see if there are players. But it seems like coast is clear. There's literally have not been anyone since I started here. It's a pretty good area too. That's a, that's a crazy thing. Nobody comes here. Such an underrated location. All right, so there's another mega. Let's just take him out. He's dead. Looks like another Detto. Heartbreaker drums. Two range finders. Jeez, a billion grenades. Damn, that's actually too OP, man. Why would the second um, uh, detonator? We can just do a horde if we really want to. These grenades are really good for C4 as well. Alright, we're back. Got myself a bunch more wardrobes. We're gonna do a, a wardrobe wall here. <laughs> Looks so cool. I think I placed that a bit wrong, though. Gotta put it, gotta put it more at the back. You know, let's just salvage it and just replace it. But we wouldn't really have a problem with storage now, I think. Alright, so actually it should have everything to make C4. Yes sir, got a C4. Second one, third one. Huge. Lovely, amazing. Great. Really happy with that. We're gonna go do a raid. Got a 4 C4 and a sticky. Alright, not too bad, dude. Not too bad. There's an underwater base here, actually. That's, I think it's raided, though. Yeah, it is raided. There's wardrobes. Oh, there's... Okay. Spotlight. Actually, take that. We could need that for a century. More peacemakers. Oh, fully decked out saber. What? Bro, they did not take the, all of the loot. Chemicals actually needed that for a horde, man. Yo, this raid actually gave me loot. Stop me raiding anything. That's why you should always check raided bases, man. I just got myself a lot of guns. Stuff I actually needed. Work light is very needed. Also, that chemical, man. This part of the base isn't actually raided, to be honest. But I'm not gonna waste all the C4. Maybe empty. I'm really happy with that. Now we're gonna go to a base that I found. We're gonna try to raid it. And hopefully we'll get ourselves some, some good loot. Alright, there's a base there. This is the base that I was talking about. I actually know two bases, and since we have a lot of C4, we should have enough to raid both of them. Hopefully we'll get profit, we'll get some good loot from it. Got myself some luck, so if we raid a wall, we can just replace it, take it over, and protect ourselves from counter raiders. So yeah, base is unraided, perfect. Let's just get ourselves a plate, raid from the roof, so we can open a lot more than just one roof. There's a hatch here. Let's just get ourselves one C4 for now. Let's get two just in case. Because there may be offline raid protection. I really don't know. All right, here we go. Yep, that was not enough. So there is offline raid protection. Let's put a second one. It should be more than enough though. Yep, it is enough. There's some wardrobes back here. This room is empty. All right, peacemaker, junk, raw explosive, glow. We'll take that. Saber and empire. Let's just put the detto and the charge back. Put this stuff too. Looks like there's some junk. Nothing too crazy though. We got ourselves a helmet finally. Saber is nice, and then Empire. Let's get this metal so Empire and the two mags. We'll just fix this. Another Peacemaker, another... Yeah, a lot of Peacemakers by the looks of it. Viper, some raw, a lot of ammo. I don't have enough space to take all of this, but pretty okay loot. Not worth 2c4 though. We did get the raw back for 1c4, but other than that, it's just a bunch of PvP guns, and that that is basically it. Alright, so we're gonna home, and we're gonna depot, and then we'll go to the second raid right after. Alright, we're back in base. Let's just depot everything we got from that raid. And I'm gonna make another C4 too. Actually, we already had the sticky grenade. I forgot about that. So we can literally only needed one raw for, for us to make another one. Alright, so we made it to the second raid that I want to do. Thing is, it's actually partially metal. So we're gonna raid the wooden one. Hope that it's just completely open. If not, I'll just have to farm a bit more raw. We're right next to military too. Yep, we're through and yeah. We're gonna have to farm. I don't think this 1c4 will be enough. I'll just put it on the door. It's back up. I hope it's enough, bro, but... Yeah, it's not. Oh, man. That's okay. Listen, I'll just try to go to military. I also got myself an hydrator, by the way. Put the aux scope on it. I got it from um, the dam. But yeah, we're gonna... Actually, I don't think I'm gonna home. I'm just gonna run straight to military. Try to get myself rock explosives from there right now. I gotta be careful if there's gonna be people, though. Alright, so there are actually two people. They're not right next to each other. I'll just... Yeah, one dropped. The other dude is right back there. I really want them to go next to each other so I can just try to kill them with one spray. But I don't think that's gonna be possible, man. Just try to kill one. 
And then try to kill the other. The other dude is in the building there. Alright, one he's dead. Other dude ran inside, man. Let's get over here. Oh, he's up there. Oh, they're both dead. Let's go. And I think they were geared, so... There's a billion Peacemaker mags on the floor and the Peacemaker. Let's take that. My first dude is here. Oh my, okay, he's geared. Nitrate. Bro, look at all that metal. I'm actually gonna take this metal. That's really good. Bro, there's too much metal. I'm not gonna have enough space for all of this. I still gotta check what the first dude had. Where did I even kill him? Oh yeah, back here. Oh, he's geared too. Bro, grenade detonator. Bro, I need to ditch stuff, man. Let's ditch that. Let's take the detto. Let's take the grenades. Calling card is better. Drop those high cal. Heartbreaker is nice. Another range finder. They're building metal parts. Right, let's get ourselves a military vest tow. Let's take the heartbreaker, steely. A little bit of metal. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave some stuff here, man. It's okay though. I got hopefully the best items. I really hope I didn't miss anything that good. But yep, we're back. Full inventory of loot. Huge. Such a good run, man. I didn't get enough raw for me to make another C4 though. That's funny. We got a generator. The gauss can is empty, but. At least we got one. We're just gonna have to fill it up. And we're back. Got our C4. Let's really hope it's enough, man. That's all I want for it to be enough. <laughs> yep, we're through. And okay, well, broke. Uh, chemicals. All right, yeah, this was terrible, man. There's a wardrobe here. Got an umbrella. This was a very bad raid. All right, so I'm gonna do a horde. I did manage to craft a horde. I got the chemicals that I needed from the last raid. We're gonna do chainsaw and... Nitrate their combo, kill the zombies with the chains obviously, and then the mega zombie with the weapon. Let's just hope I get a dragon fang from this, that's all I really want. One dragon fang, if we get dragon fang boxes as well, it'll be huge. And then we'll go finish that wardrobe raid, so that at least we finish the raid. The mega zombie spawned. Let's take him out. He's dead, huge. Let's get the final zombies. Still more zombies alive. Yeah, there's one dude here. Hopefully this is the last one and there's no glitch zombies yet. Popped. Please a dragon fang. I think we got actually some good stuff. Yep, dragon fang PDW timber. Alright, not bad. PDW is also pretty good. I was praying I won't get devil's banes from this. But, yep, we got what we really, really needed, man. Alright, well, we made it back. Base is still completely open. I hope we get something good from this, man. At least something good. Uh, two raw gauze cans. That's it. Oh, man. Well, the raw is nice. We can make another C4 from it. We do have everything else we need. Wait, there's loot back here. Oh, loot glitched out. Oh, an echo. Okay, well, you know what? I'll actually, I'll actually take that. It's another raiding method. And we do have high in base. That's good. I like that. Alright, so I did manage to craft three sentries in my little 2x1x2. By by it's funny as hell, man. But we got this loot in literally, like, I've been recording for two hours. And it's pretty good as a solo. I mean, the server is a bit high times loot, yeah, but still really happy with the progression that we did. Two raids, a little bit of PvP, insane loot. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, Germany, solo, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.